Hi and welcome back. So in the past before we started to make the final shape for the phaser. We already did the top of that or the front from which the actually the phaser is shooting. And also we started some preparation for all the details like we did this base, this kind of detail and also this for the grip. And now I would like to put the, all the details which you can see here and also on the bottom and so on. And I think I will start from the front and go to the back and I will keep this one uh, to the end. So let's start with the details because I really want to finish them in this part. And, but uh, I actually don't think it would be such a problem to do. So let's do first one this rectangle which we have here. So let's go to poly and we'll select, select uh, uh, this polys here. You can make it different like me. Uh, and so you can keep it uh, here. Uh, I will keep it uh, here because uh, I don't know, it would be more similar to this on the bottom. So, the, anyway, it's up to you. If you want, you can do it a bit different. So, we have here uh, this kind of rectangle, and actually, what we will do is just a small extrude. Now, I will select the edges here because I would like to chamfer them. The reason for that is that uh, I want to chamfer also the bottom line and without this we will have their triangles. So I'm trying to keep the triangles as much low as I can of course not every time I can do that. Anyway, let's go for extrude. Small one, not such a big one. Uh, let's say something like this. It should be absolutely fine. Now for the bottom Let's select the line, loop that, we have looped everything, let's hit chamfer, no this is probably too much, we'll go ls, and here we are. Now, if we apply, apply triple smooth, <coughs> the shape is more or less fine, but it's a bit round uh, on the edges, and this we want to keep away from the shape, we would like to have it a bit uh, harder. So. I will select these edges here and everything which is in between. So maybe uh, I will just hit Z on one of these edge and select them manually be a bit faster because I could use the ring function but it won't be working so good. So I will do it like this. Uh, I will hit the connect button. Now I need to move this to this edge. Let's say like this. We can keep the edges <coughs> a bit round. It, uh, they don't have to be absolutely straight. But it's also about your taste. You can do them more round, more more hard. But it's up to you. So a few more. The same on the other side actually. Let's hit connect. Okay, as you can see now, uh, we have a strange here. So we probably missed something. I hope so. No, we didn't. So this is a bit strange. Why this is happening always to me? Anyway, let's co uh, let's hit the connect button. And it's rotating from left to right. Okay, let's get a small look on that. If there is surely nothing. You can also deselect few edges just to be sure that they are not causing this and they are not. So it's a bit strange. Anyway uh, we can do it also with that because this top is more or less straight. We can just move them. Uh, we can also straight them a bit with the scale tool and just place into the right direction or position. So we'll uh, help with that a bit. Okay, now we can perform the cut here and also on the other side just to connect the shape to the rest. Okay, just zoom on that. Somehow, like me, okay. Here we are, 
and also now uh, holding the top edges or top poly control poly hold on old and we will deselect these edges and we will apply also a chamfer on this on the top again a small one uh, this should be fine and and this looks much more the how I would like to have it so straight uh, it's straight sorry it's hard you could do also a bit uh, a bigger chamfer but uh, like this you will see it from a distance like it's here if it will be the chamfer uh, larger there will be more chamfer there it will be harder to recognize now let's go here to the top no, oh, to the bottom. No, oh, actually, I actually don't know what I'm saying. Never mind. <coughs> we'll do absolutely the same. So these details, uh, details are absolutely the same, all of them. Nothing changed. And we'll do the same chamfer on these edges here. So let's go for the chamfer. This one should be a bit bigger. We can do it like this. Now, probably now, uh, I will do the connect because, like this, it's easier to select. Like we have uh, less edges, and it's doing the same. Uh, this is actually a strange behavior of that. It shouldn't do that, and I guess here it will be okay. Oh, it's and yes, this is strange, uh, absolutely. Okay, I will keep it like this, probably. Oops. And of course, I will do the same here with the scale. Now it can also do the chamfer here, which we did. Probably it can cause that. You know, I can, I can hardly imagine why, but it can. So let's hit connect. We can do it like this. Press OK. Now I will select these edges, hit here the constant edge and move it here. And we will have the same. Now select the bottom. Probably need to select manually a few edges there. Loop that and I think we have everything. Apply again chamfer. We want this DD this detail will be to see from a distance, so it would be hard, it would be not smooth. Let's go to poly, you can select the top poly absolutely. Hitting old edge will again select all edges on the top, will deselect these because we don't want to chamfer the inside edges, just the outside one. You can apply on the top a smaller chamfer bit and here we go. <coughs> so we have this one. Now, uh, as you can see, there are more of them. Uh, until this shape, there are just these uh, details there. I don't know what function they should have, but they are almost the same, all of them. So uh, you can do all of them. Probably I will do just this back one. Uh, it's probably a bit easier than these ones too, because here we will need to cut probably a bit. Anyway, I will do it uh, on the top, but to save a bit time and uh, not to have all details like like these, just uh, rectangles or these shapes here. Not actually, there are not rectangles, but doesn't matter. I will do it just here, and then I will go to the top. Maybe later I will decide to do here something, but I guess this will be fine. So uh, we should have saved the extrude which we did before. We can do it a bit larger, just a bit, so we can go by 0.3. <coughs> uh, you can also use bevel if you want, but I will not. Now. now let's go first for the chain for the edges because I'm a bit afraid that. I will forget about that and we want to do that. 
even the, even though that um, the triangles will not do so much bad. Oh, sorry. For <coughs> no, sorry for that. But um, you know what I say. Triangles are bad from nature. Now uh, let's do the connect to the shape. It's enough when we do it from one di direction. We don't have to do it from two directions, like from there and there. We can keep there uh, some kind of smoothness on the shape. But also, if you don't like that how it is, uh, you can do it a bit your way. Also here, so one more time, connect again. We have the shape a bit strange. So we are still on the edge mode, so we'll select all of them and just move first here to this edge. Now I'll select just this one somewhere here, just to keep the same proportion like we have on the right side and we are done. So we have the connect, we have the chamfer from the sides, now we need to perform the chamfer from up. So we'll loop a few times, the edges all around. By this side uh, chamfer, bottom, bottom of chamfer, just be sure that you not don't interact with these edges on the side. So I'll supply the chamfer, this one is probably too much. Let's go with the value of this. Poly control edge, rotate it to be able to deselect every single edge which we don't need. It should be very fast, of course. And nothing new. Uh, the shape is not, not much for learning, I will say, uh, right now for the details, because uh, we are doing the third detail the same way, and we are probably will do the same few more times. But anyway, probably, or maybe we'll have some problem to solve, and then it will be more interesting. Okay, so again, the bottom is fine for me, <coughs> but maybe later I will decide to do here something, but I will decide it uh, before the last part, the materials rendering part, and I will just show you quickly how to do that, but uh, so far I don't know if to do there something. Now let's go here to the top. And now on the top, there's again these kind of shapes like we had here at the bottom, but also here is some indicator of something. <coughs> and the indicator is actually very small. Probably just like that, not much. Okay, so first of all, I will select these ones here. Uh, I will hit inset. I will do here a small inset so far. Now, we should have here this ca these two shapes this and this. And there, uh, they should go like from the middle of this to the middle of this. Bit smaller, so we could do them. Might be too small. Okay, from there, there. Hmm, I'm just thinking loud. So I will try to do them anyway. Um, actually, I should do them, but of course, nobody is telling me like what to do. So we we'll go until here. I will hit connect go to the middle of the shape no a bit more like 45 to have some space here I will do the same from this side connect minus 45 it should be the same okay so these are the edges a bit Now, 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 <coughs> thinking about the proportion of that, this is too large, this is too small, 
So maybe I'll rotate it like this. Okay, probably the shape should start somewhere from here and go straight. I have no mood to cut the shape into half and then connect again. So I will just try to improvise here a bit. And even though it should go more away from this shape, I don't have so much space there. So I will start here because I moved this one a bit. Anyway, it should be looking fine. So let's go for the cut tool. And the final shape should be somewhere like this. Okay, let's just try. Yeah, I think this should work. So from here to the middle of this shape. Yeah, but from the opposite angle, opposite vert, like this. Whew. Okay, I hope we will not do anything strange there. Uh, actually, I really hope so. So, uh, right, now, uh, right now here I would like to do some insights. Okay, let's go first to this shape. And we will really need uh, some inset here, but it can be large. Okay, like this should be fine. More than enough when I look on that. Even though maybe a bit more space would be too great, but uh, as you can see, it's already interacting with our shape. So let's try the scale trick. Uh, not not working so much. Let's go with different axes. Uh, the same. Okay, I will need to do that separately, I guess. Now it will not go uh, anyhow, or I just got an idea. Okay, so let's go select this none and make it a bit smaller. Okay, this should be fine. Now let's go back here. We have here an inset. And what we want to do here is maybe one more of the insets, like one. <coughs> now we'll go with the bevel tool down and a bit inside. We'll just here uh, do this kind of space. Uh, we'll also select this edge here. Set to zoom on that, this one, ring that, control poly, I think we'll a bit uh, extrude that, and we'll go back to this in a while, I guess, or you can already select this edge, maybe also this one. Horrible. We have to say, I'll select also this one here. Yep. My bad. So make this kind of chamfer here on the side. So I guess we can just use the lump, uh, loop function here, here, and here. So a loop. Chamfer at once should be fine and everywhere the same. Now we'll try to select this one on the top. Apply a chamfer again, but smaller, like this. Also select the, this bottom one. Loop. Apply again a chamfer. Now the smallest which we can. And so far so good. This will be the, uh, the place for 
uh, this year some kind of indicator now let's go back here so we're probably a bit harder to do we'll see and I already want to cut off uh, this edge here probably I will also do that I don't know, I hope I will not destroy the shape at all but it should be more or less straight and it will, this, uh, I'm a bit afraid that this will cause me a bit problems so I'll just delete the edge there now it looks a bit better now here we'll go again, extrude extrude up here we have problem why we have this problem nobody knows you have the same from both sides and yeah about this I was talking it's fine when we have some problems yeah on, we have more of them now we have them on both sides that's actually what I would like to see but let's look on the oops okay we had we just uh, had a bad settings there so not such a problem than my my problem not yours okay <coughs> again we'll do the same which we did before so we'll select this edge this edge so the corner edges so we can apply the chamfer without making any triangle on these shapes chamfer okay here we can go the bigger chamfer okay here we go doing the triangle so we'll have to, to go here so we will not do it right now better solution but actually I'm for no, yeah, my bad. I'm sorry for that. Just forgot that there are just one edge connecting, not two. Okay, so we'll do here this bottom chamfer. Now we need to do the top chamfer. Still select that old or control poly. Deselect the inside. And probably we can apply bit smaller on the top. Now let's apply this to see. We lost the triangle shape. This one is looking quite fine. I just forgot to check for there something. So of course the bottom control edge deselect chamfer can leave the settings there so this is fine even uh, it's going to transfer two so we need to do a few connects here as well now uh, I think actually here it would be better to do it from this side uh, but we will see how this would be going here I will ring the shape here and also here select like this connect I would like to have two of them going to the corners like this ok this is a bit better but now we need also from this side so here we need to do both of them also we'll need to make these cuts here so the new words which we created or the new connect which we did which is here uh, we need also to cut into the shape like this the artifacts here should disappear so 
So we have this one. We'll go to the other side and do the same. <coughs> Could actually do also this this kind of stuff. So and cut it just here. Maybe it would be also a bit better, but we'll see the difference between these two sides. It's uh, very important to find the optimized solution for this every time. Yeah, this is better. So uh, I will do the same from the other side. So uh, what I will do, I will select uh, edge on edge then delete this and this and select my cut tool and do this cut. Now I will again zoom here and perform the cut uh, the best I can. So I'm really looking forward for the grape because here the details are more or less the same um, not much to learn, but okay, it's always a place to learn something from, from everything. Okay, so we have this place, the triangles are not triangles so far, but we will make them uh, right now, triangles. So here we, I will do, try to perform the connect like this. Select all of these, deselect these and these. From the left view, even that I don't see there anything, I will do something like this. I will deselect that. This I will move somewhere and back to edge. Just to be sure that really I deselected everything. I don't want to uh, select this connect anything which don't belongs there. Now we just need one but we will do probably two because it's making strange shapes. <coughs> okay, that's fine. So far so good. The same we need to do here and I think we'll need to do anyway. Also from the other side, the connection. Again, we can perform two connect, two connect, or connects. Okay. Select your cut tool and make this cut. Okay, and I think um, it's up to you if to keep it or not. Like this, I will keep it like that or not. Uh, I, actually, I don't know. Don't look so bad, even that the edges are a bit chamfered there. But okay, I will keep it, not to make more cuts, I'll not waste more time here. So here is the top, and. The last, the bottoms here, and then we are going for the grip. Okay, so first of all, here for the bottoms part, we'll go for the edge, we'll select everything inside the inside edge, and hit the chamfer bottom. Here we can go with a bigger chamfer, of course. This is too large. Okay, and the same amount of chamfer we can apply also here hit chamfer okay we will have here triangles but don't not don't don't bother them they'll find there where where they are let's go to the top view I will select the bottom reference picture place this one here all this to that uh, Probably even I don't need this model here. 
I will go to splines, rectangle, I will make splines uh, the same size which we have here. Ah, maybe a bit bigger. Just a bit. Okay, that one. Uh, Okay, like this. Hold on, shift, place this one here. Now select <coughs> this shape, but we'll make it a bit bigger too. Now I'm not going to use the sh shape merge function, which we are using uh, often when we are going to cut some kind of shape to the model. But I will use these ones like a pattern for manually cutting. Place it here. <coughs> a bit adjust maybe. Because it's not in the middle. Maybe it is. Okay, let's turn this off. Hold X. And let's move it to the right position like this one here. This one here and this one here. So we could use the shape merge function, but why? I will zoom on that a bit and I can easily cut into my shape manually. Just look on something. No, that's fine. Okay, top back here. Uh, don't give much attention for the shadow there. It should be caused just by... not by us, let's say. Okay, the big one. We are here a bit on the edge, but it should be fine. Now, select this. I will delete what Max have created and I will manually cut and actually anchor my shape into the rest of the shape. I hope I didn't make the bottoms too big. I hope to. So all shadows and everything should disappear. And if I miss something, I will perform the fix a bit later on that. Okay. Well, also this one here to make the uh, quads. Okay. Delete the shapes because we don't need them. Delete. Top view. Now poly. Select the inside of our new shapes. We'll do first an insert. Zoom and bit up to that inset. We'll do a double inset in this size. Apply OK. <coughs> Now, uh, doing this, we'll extrude to the bottom, so probably a bit bigger. Yeah, like this. Now, uh, the chamfer here will do uh, to our. Uh, I would like to say, ah, triangles. So select this inside shape here, here, and here. Loop. We'll apply a small extrude, so a little small. But it looks like there is some gap. 
now we'll loop this edge, this and this, so the bottom edge. Apply chamfer, this is too much, like this. <coughs> now control edge to the top edges, we'll apply again chamfer. Okay, let's go here, chamfer, hmm, a bit bigger. Okay, now we need to perform for sure the connections there. See, uh, it's not nice. So, if we uh, select the ring function, ah, it will stop here, which is good. So, I will just deselect it here. We could also delete this top edge until down. I just forgot about that. But we could do that. So it's not absolutely straight, but we can straight it here. This one is going through almost all the shapes, so I will work so far. Hey, here is working there not? Why? Doesn't matter. So uh, I will be just working with shapes which I don't have to deselect for long. So let's go from the left view to deselect the bottom. There should be probably quite a lot of them. Just be sure that you deselect really everything. Go again here. Again, I will go by connect. Uh, move it to the other side. Straight, because we want to have a nice straight. <coughs> now uh, we need to apply the ring function. Can do it through this shape, but actually, why to do these kind of things if we don't have to? So right now we will be just jumping from one view to another to be able to connect parts of the shape the right way. Okay, here we are. Again, the ring tool, deselect on this side, also here, just for sure the left, really. Top, <coughs> deselect this, connect. And make this. So, uh, half chip done. Now, uh, I will select, oops, these words, these words. I hope I will just select that one which we can, and I will move this. Uh, I will try to move. the words to simulate uh, the edge or the connection. This is one way how to do that. If you have a straight, or if you are able to move straight on a straight surface, uh, you can apply this. Of course, if you cannot, you just cannot. Very simple. I'm saving one connection, it's eight words. So if I have eight words selected, I can move. If I have more, I have to deselect something. Okay, both sides, both sides are done. Now let's look. Don't look so bad. Of course, uh, I noticed that there were some cracks or something. Uh, hard to name that, and it's caused by this. So, one more time. Here is it. Let's perform a cut here. Is there still? 
So making the cut work. Okay. So actually, I need to cut <coughs> here. Oops. From here to there. And weld this. Horrible. Sometimes it's just strange. So anyway, we'll delete few so far. And I would like to connect this one here. We'll see. Oh, it's fine. Okay, what we have here, we don't have here anything. Here we have something similar. Just one. We can perform, we can try to perform the cut straight here. Should be fine. Vert cut straight there. And here I will do the same. So from a cut here. We'll first delete these two, cut this one here and this one here. It should be fine. Okay, we have the bottoms here. Yeah, they're a little bit edgy. <coughs> uh, from a distance nobody will see. It's because we don't have these lines in this direction and I will... Uh, don't do them. You can do them if you want. Um, maybe um, I will do them without recording. Maybe not, I don't know. Uh, but for sure I will tell you. So don't worry about that. So uh, let's go to the last detail which is here. Looking forward to finish this. Now here we need to do this grip. The grip is probably from kind of a rubber and these are the elements for the grip. Now uh, let's start with selecting this edge. So select loop. We need to select the inside of this edge absolutely. Loop loop loop. Also here. Loop. Now hit extrude. We need to perform here an extrude, so we'll go by zero and firstly adjust this this size and now we need uh, I want to go inside. Well this is too much like this should be fine. More or less. So let's go with these values twenty-five and one. Okay. Now let's go to the left view. I need to connect this. But I don't want to connect that. So I will select these uh, four, 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 five. But I'm thinking also for that. But no, I will not. So I'm selecting this one, ringing them, and deselecting this. I don't want to do the connect all over the shape. Surely I can do it like this. Now I'll go to perspective view, Z to zoom. And to connection, I need to add a, this one here and the one which is here inside. The extrude which we did a while ago. And I need to do this from this side and also from the other side. So right now we'll have some kind of uh, selecting practice. So this one first. Now let's rotate. And absolutely the same here. This edge which we see on the surface and that one which we don't see but it's inside. Now I'm doing it uh, like this because I want that uh, the element or artifacts which are looking like the grip 
are going from the shape. Like they are absolutely connected to that. So we have this connect uh, five times. <coughs> Should be more than enough. Select this one, loop it, left view, uh, deselect until here, now perspective, Z to zoom, and again select one of these. Now here I would like to do just four connections, because I think five are too much. So, four should be more or less the same size. Yes, and it is. More or less, I said. Let's go here. Here I want to do just one. I don't know why I jumped here, but I feel that I should. So probably better to left view deselect one more time. Well, nothing hard. Uh, very easy. The connect tool is working for us. We don't need to use any kind of cutting right now. Or so. So very simple, but just by holding Control or Alt, Alt for deselect once. Loop, oops, not loop, ring. Uh, left view, Z to zoom, deselect again. Here we will do just two, and at the end just three. Then it should go up probably a bit. Uh, quicker or quicker because really we are almost at the end. I'm pretty happy. I will for sure check the model without recording very carefully. If I did uh, some mistakes, I would like to correct them, and I will tell ya in the last part before I will do the materials, which shouldn't take so much long, because probably I will just use some kind of texture for the metal, and I don't know. So three times, cool. <coughs> okay, so we have here a lot of bodies, now we need to, uh, to create this kind of stuff. How to do that? I think uh, already everyone from you know the answer. We'll use bevel. Now I'm going to select every second of these edges. Now why every second? I need to cut to bevel bodies. Now in 3ds Max you have three modes of beveling or extruding. There are about polygon, uh, grouping and so on. None of that will work for us. Because we need to extrude every second one. We cannot apply And the stuff. <coughs> so, I ring mean that. Let's go to the left view. Control poly, and you selecting also here one poly. So we need to deselect this one. It's uh, the same for how many? Four, four, three polys or these stripes. So it should go very fast. And here we go. Dislike everything. Now the size of the bevel. Let's go for bevel zero zero, and first we'll go up. It will interact a bit with the shape. I will go here. I think seven. Okay, zero point seven. Because if we apply trubesmith, the shape will go a bit down. Now I will go a bit into an angle. I will look at the end because here we have a shape which cannot be too much by an angle. So just a bit here. <coughs> I'm looking if everything is fine. Yes, it is. It's just so strange. So uh, I don't know. This should be enough. So this is the first run. Wait, 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 wait. I will go one step back. I will hit one more time bevel. Just check. Yeah, local normal. We are going group is and poly will do this, so I'm fine. Now, 
Select now again every second edge. The same method, the same way. This, this will be a bit faster because we know the settings. So we'll just do that, that, and it's done. Now, if you look, or if you were looking uh, a bit longer on the police, yeah, you will see some kind of optical trick. <coughs> you will see that you are selecting not that one which are on the bottom, but on the top. It's very, very strange. I hate that. Anyway, uh, if you don't see that, sorry for bothering you. Uh, so, okay, uh, control poly one more time. We have all the stripes here again selected. Loop. Our left Z to zoom. <coughs> now we'll deselect one more time. The one poly which we are selecting extra. Uh, no, uh, don't worry, if you will not see it or don't uh, deselect that. You will for sure see it in a moment if you did it or not. The same bevel. You don't changing anything. Okay. Both sides. Now tube smooth. And we are done. Okay. Okay, cool. <coughs> so the phaser is done. And I will not do any VIP render so far. Uh, like I said, I will check the phaser very slowly. And if I will find anything bad, I will fix that and then tell you what I did. So, I hope you liked the modeling part. As you can see, we did the rough shape very fast. Then we added the details. Some of them was a bit complicated, like here on the top. But the rest was quite fine, so I hope you like that. We have a clean, nice phaser ready to shoot. Also with this one here, the cover, even that I think the cover should go to the back, but I like it like just like so. So the next part will be probably faster than this one. I hope you enjoyed so far, and I will see you in the next part. Bye bye.